picking back up. Uh, apologies for the bad angle. This is the best way I could get everything in the shot. So just getting set up. Um, light's not the best, but should be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and put these two halves back together with the new plate. Uh, we have our check balls, springs, screens laid out. Uh, valve body is clean. It is dry enough to work with. Looks pretty good. Feels pretty good after the cleaning. And I'll just preface this by saying uh, I'm certainly not a professional. I learned a lot from a guy I know on YouTube, Gary Ferraro. Uh, if you haven't checked him out, check out his channel. He's, uh, he's brilliant. So we'll get set up, get a few more things, and then we'll get started. Here I have the uh, new plate, which I picked up from Cobra Transmissions. Actually, go right there. We have our check balls, two screens, two springs, ready to go. Uh, here we have our six new dampers. We'll go right in here. And then just for comparison, so you can see, see if I can get in relatively close. This is a new one. This is the one that I took out. You can see these things are pretty much squished. So we'll review, <coughs> be replacing those as well. All right, let's get going. Start to see a little sunlight, that's nice. All right, we will start with our dampers and just work from right to left. Those look pretty good. And then what we have to do is go through this side and what we're putting back uh, starting from top corner here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine check balls. So we'll start here, work our way around, and I believe we're going to end up uh, with the ninth one here. We have a screen going here, or excuse me, a spring going here, spring going here. And we have a screen right there, the large one, and then this smaller guy is going to go right there. So let's go ahead and get those pieces put back in. All right, so now we'll go on with our first two springs, then our screen. And uh, the same on both sides. Our second spring. Right there. And then our second screen. Right there. All right, I'm just checking. That's all our parts and pieces. So now we're ready for uh, the new plate. Again, this is from Cobra Transmissions. Looks pretty good. So just make sure we have the orientation correct. Lie that way. On that side and this way on this side. I think what I'll do, just to make sure I have some weight I think I'm going to line it up on this side and then put both halves together at the same time. And again, that's just these springs uh, will be pushing up a little bit, so the weight from this half of the valve body should help with that. Feels pretty good. So I'm just going to put take one bolt in just to hold it together, flip it over, uh, put the TCM on just to make sure that everything's lined up, the dowels, etc., and then start putting the bolts back in. Coming back, so here we just have a handful of bolts. Uh, these are the shorter of the two. Uh, the six that are for the TCM are a little bit longer. 
you'll see the difference in just a moment. And what I want to do is maybe just pick one right here in the middle. I'm just going to gently thread it in by hand. I certainly don't want to cross thread or strip. I just want a little bit of tension to hold these two halves together. Just a little bit like that. Okay. Now we can flip this over. You see I touched the corner, it, it slid just a bit, so this is why I want to line it up with the TCM before I put uh, many more bolts in. Uh, the TCM, you'll see, has two dowels. Um, it's probably a better angle here. You can see the larger one by the plug, and then by the input speed sensor here is the second one. And what we're going to do right now not worried about lining up uh, the slide with this per se. Uh, I may do it just for good habit, but I know I'm taking this back off, so I'm not too concerned with that. What I do want to do, however, is line this up as best as I can. There we go. And this should just slide in. <clears throat> it came out pretty easily. That plate may not be perfectly aligned, which is why the dowel might be getting stuck. There we go. Then we just have to wiggle a little bit, a little bit more, and it's in. That's what she said. There we go. All right. So now both of the dowel pins <coughs> are in. I'll just ever so gently put this over put any pressure on that but <clears throat> what I do want to do you can see I did manage to line that up wasn't really worried about it because taking this off again but good form right so just get a couple bolts in to ensure that it stays aligned when I take the TCM off again There we are. So now we can flip this back over and we'll just gently pull this back off. So now we will torque this down, torque all of these down. 80 inch pounds and uh, I'm just going to start in the middle and work my way out. So. That's it. Now for the solenoids. Now we'll go ahead and put in the solenoid kit. Have it in the order in which it will go from right to left, or alternatively left to right. But uh, one thing I'll point out is this hole will remain empty. I believe that's for a different type of transmission with a automatic park, which I do not have. This unit does not have. Just for ease of use, uh, show this, but I'm actually gonna flip the unit so it's oriented towards me. Uh, apologies that you won't be able to see that. But we just simply will reinsert these, uh, or insert them, I should say. This is a new kit I bought uh, from ZF. It was about $300, uh, but it replaces all of the solenoids. And I had done that prior to rebuilding the transmission. I uh, just decided before putting the valve body back in the car to take it apart, 
clean it, completely rebuild it since I'm already this far. So that's why these were already on. straighten them out. Um, they be pretty close. It's not going to be perfect, but since they're oriented correctly, that looks pretty good. So now I'll turn this around, let you have a look. Again, first spot is empty, then we have yellow, black, blue, blue, yellow, blue, yellow. And uh, if you've never worked on your valve body before, you may have seen that as these age, uh, over time, yellow would start to look orange, the blue actually start to look green, but uh, this is the color when the solenoids are new. So next we'll go ahead and put in the clip and uh, these tiny bolts, screws, and torque that down. using the, uh, the bit here to get them started by hand and actually I'll probably tighten them down by hand as well up to and including torquing them these are all T27 uh, you may have noticed but it's the same bit for these bolts as well and also the six that will hold the TCM on and something that uh, I appreciate is that uh, it certainly makes working with this easier. Uh, I presume it's by design. Uh, it's ZF. The bolts that hold the valve body, the mechatronic unit, to uh, the bell housing, I believe are T40s. Uh, but the, the convenience of that is you, you can't take out the wrong bolts when you're removing this from the bell housing, which is something you, I certainly wouldn't want to do while I was under the car. And once these are good, I'll torque them down to 80, 85 inch pounds. Again, just going slow, going by hand. Don't want to strip the bolts. I uh, don't want to cross thread them. Then you will have a very bad day. Now something you might not be able to see, the uh, retaining clip has little teeth uh, that holds each of the solenoids into place so there's a little bit of tolerance you may have seen that i was adjusting these to get the the edge of the solenoid as lined up as possible but there's actually a tooth in this bracket that uh, has a little bit of wiggle room a little tolerance but it's going to hold them in place once they're in there so again another thing by design that uh you know, helps prevent you from making errors, kind of guides you on how to do things the right way, which, you know, as I said, I, I think it's helpful. I appreciate it. All right, let's torque them. I don't have the best angle. Let's see what we can do here. And, uh, as far as whether you should start in the middle and work out or start from one end going to the other I don't think it's a huge deal again it's just a bracket we're, we're bolting on to the valve body uh, so I'm not as concerned as the pattern uh, holding the two halves of the valve body together where we do want to start with the pressure in the middle and then work our way out But that completes our valve body. So we've cleaned it, new plate, put the, uh, the nine check balls, the two springs, the two screens, 
everything back into place. Uh, looks much cleaner. Sorry we don't have a before picture, but uh, it's a little greasy from sitting on these dirty towels here, but it is clean. And uh, the solenoids you can see are brand new. They look great. Uh, those, are, those are pretty much ready to go. But thanks for watching. senior moment here. <clears throat> so, I had it right. You can rest assured I will edit this out. <clears throat>